everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing my mock results to my predicted grades to my actual grades for A-levels, so please stay tuned. But before I continue, if you've got any requests for any videos, then please do leave them down in the comments because I will try my hardest to do them. I have got quite a few A-level related videos planned over the next couple of weeks because I want to get them done and out of the way before I go to uni. So please do leave them down below and I'll try my hardest to do them. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with biology. So I'm gonna tell you my mock results, my predicted grade, and then what I actually got in biology. I just think it's easier if I structure it in terms of each subject. So biology. My mock grade for my first year, because I didn't do an AS in biology because they've obviously changed it round. So the mock grade that I got for the first year, which was just based on the first year's content, that was a C. I only just scraped a C though, which I was kind of happy about, but then at the same time, I did pretty badly. I just managed to scrape a C because the grade boundaries were really, really low. I didn't try particularly hard for that exam. And I didn't really put, you know, all my effort in and all my revision in. Looking back, maybe I should have done because that would have meant that my actual grade at the end probably would have come out a little bit better but that was it for the first year. I then did a mock for the second year and again, I got a C and you know, I was kind of happy with that. Not really much I can say about it. Throughout the year though, I was getting um, a lot of varied grades on smaller tests that I did. So I would get, you know, the occasional E, some Ds, Cs, the odd B and an A on one of them. So it was very varied on what grades I got for each particular test, like topic test. I was a lot stronger at some topics within biology than I was with others. And that really shone through in the actual exam. I recognised when I was sitting the exam. But I think I did okay to be able to get C's in my mocks for biology. I didn't get any lower, but I still felt like I hadn't done great. Then for my predicted grade, I was originally predicted a C. But for me to be able to get into the uni that I wanted to get into, my head of year told me that I needed to go and ask them to pull it up to a B. So I went and had a word with her and she was like, well, you know, I think you're going to get a C, but there is a chance that you could get a B. And if it will help you get into the uni that you need to, then I will put a B because I know that it is possible for me to get a B if I really do try, but she does think I was gonna get a C. So she changed it up to a B and I managed to get an unconditional to the university that I want to go to based on that. I needed a BBC to be able to get into the uni that I wanted to go to and I was predicted overall A, B, C in all my grades. So I got an unconditional, thankfully. My actual grade that I received in biology when I opened my results, by the way, if you haven't seen that video opening my results live on camera, it did really, really well. So thanks to everyone that watched that. I'll link it down below if you want to go and see it. But I was not expecting good things from my results. I just have to disclaim at all. I really did think I was going to get an E or even a U in biology because the exams for me felt like they went terrible. One of them was okay. But when you walk out an exam thinking, have I got one mark? When you come to open your results, you're hoping, have I got more than a U? So I did manage to get a C, which I'm really, really happy about. I was really, really happy. And I know that compared to some other people, you'll be like, what, I got an A star, like that was easy. Everybody's different. Everyone finds different subjects different. If I could look back now, I would have put in a little bit more effort and work in the first year, which would have then helped me in the second year. So if you're gonna do A-levels, start revising from the beginning. Why is my candle like an absolute wood burner? <laughs> Um, but yeah, start revising from year one because as soon as it gets to year two, you are going to be rushing. So overall, mock grade C, predicted grade B, but technically a C, actual grade C. So it was very consistent with what I was getting, what I thought I would get and what I actually got. For chemistry, woohoo! In my first year, I did a mock exam based on the information from the first year and I got a D in one of the papers. I think overall it probably was a D, but yeah, I got a D for the first year and I was, you know, all right with that. I was just chilling throughout the year. I wasn't too bothered. 
I don't know why I probably would be if I was to <laughs> redo them. You know, I just accepted it. I hadn't put in like 100% effort, so I knew that if I'd put in a lot more effort, I would have got a higher grade. Then as it came into the second year, the mock results I did sort of in January, including the first and second year's information, or most of the second year, I got a D again, I think. So, you know, I, when I got bad grades in chemistry or biology, it never bothered me. I, you know, I never, I, I never took it to heart. I don't know why I'm the kind of person that always looks on the positive side of things. So I suppose I just thought, you know, I've got a D, let's move on and go. I was all right with that. Predicted grade wise, they predicted me a C in chemistry. And I literally, when they predicted me that, I thought, I did think they were gonna predict me a C, but I was like, I'm not even gonna get a C, you know? I don't even think I'm gonna get an E. So I was like, yeah, fair enough. You know, I'll try my best. And then when it came to results day, open my results live on camera, I got a C and I was so happy with that because I actually found chemistry quite difficult. It is a tricky subject and it is something that a lot of people do take and a lot of people do do well in, but also a lot of people don't do well in it at all. So I was very, very happy with a C and considering in my mock results, I'd got Ds, my predicted grade was a C and I got a C, I was so happy with that. So to me, I've made a lot of progress throughout the year to my actual grades. Throughout the year in tests and things like little topic tests, I would consistently be getting E's and D's. I don't even think I managed to get above a C if I'm honest with you, which is why on results day I was expecting really low grades because I know some people would think watching that video that I did, you know, oh, of course you're just saying that, but I really was expecting extremely low grades based on how I was doing throughout the year. So that is it for chemistry, that's what I got. So I think again, fairly consistent. Then for math, my first year of maths was AS, so maths is a little bit different. My first year was an AS and second year was like the A level, if you know what I mean, A2. And in the first year I did core one, core two and statistics one. So in my A level maths, I chose to do statistics rather than mechanics. Literally look at some people's mechanics work and I just can't even process what the heck it is. So I'm so glad that I chose statistics. I know that the new syllabus requires, especially for the exam board that my brother's doing, which I think is AQA, requires you to do both statistics and mechanics. So I'm so glad that I was there just to do statistics because I found that so much easier than core one and core two. My mock results, for you know, all three of them, it was pretty much consistent. I, you know, I don't specifically remember what I got for each call one, two or stats, etc. but I was getting A's, B's, C's. I don't think I got any lower than a C in my first year on like actual mock exams. So I was consistently, you know, doing fairly well in the first year of maths. That's when I sort of started to realize that I really did quite like maths and that was something that I wanted to go into a little bit more. So I felt like my mock results was good on that and I was happy with that. My AS maths results, so that includes core one, two and statistics one, I got a B overall. I got a really, really high A in core one. I, you know, did so well in that exam, which I'm really happy about. I was in the zone. Then in core two, I got a C and stats one, I got a C. So in year two, I decided to resit that stats one that I did in AS and I managed to pull that up from a C to an A. So that was good, you know, that was worth the resit definitely. That meant that that pulled my whole AS grade all the way up to an A from a B, which I was so happy about. So that was definitely worth the resit. Then for the second year, maths was not my friend. I did struggle a lot more in the second year than in the first year. I still loved the subject. I still loved the maths part of it, obviously, because it's maths, but I still, you know, loved the math. But it was a lot more difficult than the first year, in my personal opinion. I did core three, core four, and statistics two. Statistics two, I was fine with. I really liked that. I was, you know, that was fine for me. But core three and core four was a little bit more tricky, not gonna lie. Mock grades. I was sort of ranging between what I think I got an A on one of them, a C on another. I even managed to get a U on one of them. So things were like looking a little bit, you know, going downhill for the second year. I was a little bit worried. So they were very, very, very varied in the mock results that I was getting for the papers and things like that. My predicted grade that they predicted me was an A. So they thought, you know, I could get an A, but he said, 
you know, he did think I could get an A, but I'll probably get a B. In the actual exams, I sat them and, I, you know, I felt, I didn't feel confident really at all, to be honest, but I felt okay. I didn't feel like it went dreadful, but then I didn't feel like it went good. I was still like, you know, I was still worried that I was not going to get a C, you know, but for the second year, I came out with a B and I was really, really happy with that based on how difficult I thought core three and core four is. So yeah, A and AS, B in the second year. I don't know what the total of my UF, UMS was. I should probably email my maths teacher or whatever. For maths, overall, mock grades completely varied. Predicted grade, an A. Actual grade, A in first year, B in second year. I feel like... I was incredibly happy with the grades that I got there. So, yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to do this video just to kind of tell you that you can get like a U in your mock and still come up with a lot higher. Like, that's what happened with me in maths. You can get, you know, you can be consistent, which is what I've been in biology. You know, it's all very varied, it's all very different. But as long as you put in the effort and you try, you can pull anything up. You know, you don't have to think, well, I've got a C in my mock, so I'm gonna get a C in my actual exam. And don't think I've got an A in my mock, so I'm gonna get an A in the exam. Keep revising. But anyway, if you've got any questions, then please do leave them down below in the comments. I always love to reply to loads of comments and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see some more A-level content and please subscribe as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Bye.